Elsewhere in Division 3, girls basketball action, Ottawa Glandorf taking on Highland. Titans getting the start first defensively. Chloe Glenn gets the steal, takes it all the way, and gets the bucket to give OG an early lead. Then it's Glenn crashing the offensive glass, gets the miss here around four Hawks, and puts it up and in herself. She would finish with eight points. Then later, it's Kelsey Erford. She's going to drive and score around the defense and in to make it seven to four. Ottawa Glandor, but Highland answering immediately. Bryn Mullet knocking down the three ball to tie this one up. Then Aaron Kaufman gonna drive and score. Not enough tonight, however, as Ottawa Glandor falls to Highland 45 to 25. Aaron Kaufman with seven points and Glenn with eight as the Hawks are your division three state champion. Well, I don't know. Um, I thought we opened the game. We played pretty well with them. Uh, we had a lot of energy. Defense was working pretty well. Um, uh, we missed a lot of shots in that first quarter, and it, um, I think it not only set us back uh, in the scoring column, um, but it also probably affected our mindset. Um, missing uh, easy layups, those would have probably settled our team down. Uh, we could have scored, I think, at that point. You know, we were trading baskets, trading opportunities with Berlin and, and uh, doing some nice things. Fortunately, we missed uh, missed most of those, and then we got stuck on a, I don't know, stuck at one score for quite some time. Um, but hats off to Berlin Highland. I mean, we, we knew no matter what we did on on defense, they were going to be able to put points on the board. I thought we played a great defensive game. Obviously, their their uh, veteran experience obviously uh, kind of turned the tide against our youth. Um, but you kind of expect that from a program that's as well run as theirs. That's all I know. What was the toughest thing to deal with with the defense? Well, I think uh, Kelsey started getting banged up. Uh, her back started acting up. We had to kind of cycle her in and out. Uh, we just didn't have another guard really with the experience to break down. Not, not even their press. I mean, it wasn't even their press. We couldn't even really get our offense moving. Uh, we had to bring our post players out to kind of handle the ball, and that affected our inside game. Um, it's a number of things. It's, it's things we've kind of been in the back of our head all year. You know, how are we going to get to that? And fortunately, we've been able to escape it. I thought uh, Lily Hazelman it, it did some good, nice things. She was able to break uh, break pressure, get get downhill on them. Uh, but by that time, our bigs were so tired um, from trying to come outside and, and, and help that we oftentimes didn't have anybody in the paint to help her, and she had to kick it again. So, you know, we're not a very good three-point shooting team. So. It kind of it kind of made us one dimensional, and when they took that away, it was very difficult for us to score. What can you say about Kelsey's career and just being able to lead you guys to? Um... Well, I've had a couple girls that are similar. Uh, I'd put her right up there. With, you know, anybody that's played for me for four years and put up with my crap, um, you know, to to come to state two two times in a, in a basketball career, um, and, and she's. You know, as a freshman, just kind of hanging on a sixth player who probably could have started at times for us, but to develop uh, through the program and and really take a leadership role. And, you know, she she's done everything. Um, coming into the program, I think we played her as a four. She guarded as a freshman, was guarding the post. Um, you know, point guard's not her natural position, but as a senior, and not a lot of leadership. We had to throw her there, and she's stepped up to every challenge, and she carried her team to the state state finals. I mean, what more could you say? I, I, I'll take 15 of those kids every year. Um, I know Coach Schleybaugh is was he even thinking about you know, retiring today or sometime soon. What can you say about the job he's done over the nearly 30 years? Well, I, I, obviously he's the envy of anybody that has a coaching program, anybody that strives to do it right, anybody that strives to build a program. Um, you know, he, he's done it, and he's done it well. Um, you know, I'd much rather be giving this press conference saying what a great guy he was and, you know, I wish him well in retirement or whatever uh, with the victory. But, uh, you know, I think we knew going in how hard it was going to be. His teams are always well coached. Uh, we didn't really have the advantage. It's not like he had a couple of young kids that we could exploit. Um, but, you know, I, I have nothing but respect for the program he's built. Um, you know, it's... I guess I told the girls, you know, there's there's a bunch of teams out there that would be extremely happy to trade places with you right now, and be sitting in here and playing for a state championship and even taking that runner home runner up trophy home. You know, down the road I'll probably be able to look back at this and say, well, I lost I lost to Dave. You know, 
That was probably to be expected with the lineup he had and the lineup I had and coming into the game, but it still hurts like heck to, to watch these girls who put everything on the floor. And, and you know, you, you, you think of them as daughters, you know, you, you want them to succeed, you want them to achieve, and you, and you feel sorry for them when they don't, even when they give 100%. I, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I thought we did a good job early. We kept their shooters at bay until 25 started hitting a couple. Um, Kelsey was a little bit dinged up, and they were, you could kind of tell she couldn't get out to the shooters. Um, unfortunately, we had to keep her in the game in order to have the continuity we needed on offense. It would have been nice to maybe make some offensive defensive switches at that time to kind of keep the defensive pressure on them. but. The game of basketball happens so it's not like football where you can trade out a play and sub somebody in. It's up and down the floor, and uh, you, you can kind of see when she's not in the in the game how difficult it is for us to do what we want to do. So. Sorry, from the no standpoint, the offense you were running, you were getting open shots. Yeah, I, I, I was. I thought our girls were doing a good job until they got tired. You know, we were cutting hard. The girls were getting um, maybe a couple times where I think our post players were open. We got the ball into the post late. Or, you know, sometimes they were able to pressure our wing players and we just couldn't deliver the ball on time. Obviously, we missed a couple or a few opportunities early. Um, you know, it, it, it wasn't X's and O's. It wasn't effort. It was, um, you know, we had, we had weaknesses from, a, from a, just a roster build. And it's not, and I'm not going to say the girls, you know, that, that we had inferior players. Obviously, that wasn't the case. We, we, they played their hearts out. Um, they're just not finished products. You know, they're young kids, uh, starting a freshman and two sophomores, uh, freshman. And, yeah, you know, and, and, and we were fortunate in certain games in tournament where, you know, our ability to play defense and our ability to be athletic and, and do other things kind of turned the tide. Um, I thought that was maybe the case in the first quarter. You know, our athleticism, our ability to defend was holding, holding back the dam. Um, but. Obviously, you know when the dam breaks, it's tough to it's tough to rebuild it with youth, and I think that's kind of the, maybe the tail of the tape, I guess, or or how the game ended is, you know, we, we couldn't really fix what we didn't have. You know, there wasn't a there wasn't a way to fix, and it had a whole bunch of experience to handle that pressure situation.